Welcome to part 4 of Star Fox 64, and in this episode we are starting the normal route, which is only three planets. Katina, Solar, and of course, Macbeth. I ended up taking the alternate route to Katina from Meteo, so let's get started. Katina is battling the enemy. Will you help him out? Affirmative, General. Alright, now it's time for us to deal with Katina, which is actually a new stage Hang on, guys. Help in on the way. this game. Even though Katina was not present in Star Fox 2. Anyway, Katina is a rather special case. Normally, in all of the all range mode stages, you? you have to rely on your radar. It. Not here, because if you rely on your radar, you may inadvertently shoot friendlies, and you'll realize that for some reason, your win count is not, or your kill count is not going up. That's because every time you do shoot a friendly, you're going to get chided by Bill, but more importantly, these friendlies tend to get in the way. They're not hard to miss. They're these green R wings with white wings. Yeah, can't really miss. Oh, and I ended up shooting one of them because one of them got in the way of another pogey. And that's the problem with this stage. The metal requirement is 100. And more importantly, to make sure that the boss of the stage does not destroy the base. But at the same damn time, you're trying to kill off as many of these enemies as humanly possible before uh, enemy mothership approaching. the enemy mothership comes in and you end up inadvertently running into allied fighters. Or they'll just try to sideswipe you like Slippy did back on Bolts in Part 3. I am still salty about that, by the way. Fuck Slippy. Anyway, also be careful because um, if you're trying to lock on to the enemy, you may inadvertently lock on to your allied forces. And also, depending on how much uh, enemy force, no, allied forces you kill, sorry, it's depending on how Bill responds to you at the end of the stage. Speaking of the end of the stage, this is practically the boss of the stage. And you're gonna dispatch more enemies. You can actually spend the majority of this time killing off the enemies. But bear in mind one thing, even if the allied generic uh, bulldog unit or whatever the hell that's following Bill actually kill enemies alongside your friends, it doesn't count towards your kill count, so you're practically going to have to take these guys on your own. Now. You may end up running into enemy. Oh god, my controller did it again. Oh, no. Got it. Everything's good. That's probably the reason why you didn't receive a uh, video on Monday. Well, two reasons actually. One, I'm trying to set up for an event at E3 because I was going to watch E3 with a couple of my friends. The hatch is open. Also, trying to find a camera to actually record the thing so I can at least post my thoughts and some Man, of my reactions to on the YouTube. Time. But. <clears throat> I couldn't find the camera. So, I was also cleaning out my hard drive just in case I did find the camera. I didn't find it. I will say this, however. I won't let you get away from me. This boss is not really that hard. I mean. It tends to hover around and starts uh, opening and closing its hatches, but if it gets too close to the base and if you take too long, or if you destroy all four of the hatches, it's going to drop the core. And if anybody is familiar with Independence Day, that core means one thing, a death laser from above. And I did not mean to shoot the bad guy. I, mean, I did not mean to shoot the good guy, sorry. I meant to shoot the bad guy. God, it's so confusing. I'm trying to keep my cool here, but it's so damn confusing. Location confirmed. And you gotta catch these damn, uh, uh, paddles quickly, because if you don't, then the paddles will easily close. 
I'm pretty sure it must be the emulator going really, really fast at 60 frames per second, but I normally had all these, uh, all those, uh, shafts closed before I, or destroyed, actually, before I take on the core itself. Time for a little payback. But all in all, I only managed to get like 47. And you're not gonna get that much if you actually focus on, um... Oh, the hatches are open again. I gotta turn around. Damn it, turn around! Oh, my controller! Oh, God damn it. Man, there's just no end to these guys. But you might not get enough if you keep focusing on the enemies and rather not on the hatches themselves. Because the quicker you destroy the hatches, you'll get about 10, um, hit points. But if you manage to destroy all the hatches and the, uh, core itself, that's about 20 hit points? So you'll end up with 70 instead of just 50. And you can just focus on the enemies if you like, but there's a time limit. Yeah, you can't really focus on them too much. If for some reason there's a time limit right there, and unfortunately, unlike the bosses before, Slippy doesn't analyze the shield, so you honestly don't know how many hits it takes. But if you have a twin blaster, which by the way, if you die in this stage, you don't have one. You did it! Well, none of them's gonna show up, but if you had it to a bash, you can easily take this thing out really quickly once the core comes out. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure we won this one. Yeah, it's over. And now we're going to Sora. But seriously, the one thing that pisses me off about this stage, those drones in the background. Take care, Fox. Otherwise, it's not that bad of a stage. It's pretty easy and solid as far as normal stage is concerned. The only thing you have to worry about is having bogeys on your six, which normally they all go after your friends. And I accidentally knocked something over, my bad. But folks, we're done with Katina and now it's off to one of my least favorite stages in this game, Solar. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That's the one thing I can't stand about this route, Solar. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is Man 985 See you guys next time as we go to the hellhole that is Solar.